Hi everybody, I'm Debbie Adams and I'm from Spellbinders and I'm so excited to be here today at scrapbook.com. Um, I'm going to be featuring one of my favorite artists and who happens to be a good friend of mine and that's Sharon Soul. And she's come out with a new collection called Joyous Celebrations. And um, I'm going to be showcasing her Build a House die. It's just darling and it's got lots of possibilities. And I'm also going to be showing her um, her flower, her border flower as well, and we're going to work them into one project. We're going to be using some fun paper with snowflakes in it and some sugar coating and a little bit of ribbon. It's really fun. So um, one of the projects that um, I'm going to be showing, but this is a different look to this one, is this house by Sharon. And what's so unique about this is I didn't turn the other flap down. I left it open so that you could put a gift or put candy in there. So this is really cute, and I'm gonna be making something similar today. This is exactly what we're going to be doing, and I just love this. This is my little Christmas frosty jar, and it makes a great table decoration. So today, that's what we're going to be working on, getting this down, and then obviously you can see from this other project over here, a different variation. So now that I've shown you these two houses, let's get started making one of them. All right, I've now got all our parts and pieces out to make uh, Sharon's little house. There's obviously the house itself. This is going to be the roof, the little scallop piece, and the base to the house. We've got the sides, the doors, the windows, little gate, a picket fence, and then in the other set we have a flower and um, kind of a little wreath. Oh, and we do have a little heart for the house. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the house. It's gonna take two houses and two sides in order to create this project. So I'm using this snowflake paper. I thought it was kind of cute. Now, if you do this right, you can actually get the entire house on um, one sheet of paper. Um, and I do need to point out this die right here is the side of the house, but the roof or the top and the bottom um, are need to be put down on the paper correctly if there's a directional paper. So this is gonna be at the top of your house and this is gonna be at the bottom. So you won't wanna turn it this way if you've got a wood strip running this way, you're gonna to wanna to turn it this way. So I'm put that in there. And here's my die cut pieces. Right there, the house and the side. So let's go ahead and cut another one. Let's go ahead and cut everything out at the same time. Um, I have some white paper that's got some adhesive already placed onto the back of it. And we're gonna do our door and window out of that. And our picket fence. our little door and our picket fence and our window and the little parts just punch right out. Lastly we're going to cut out some flowers and I'm going to use this really cute little checkered paper. Put that on there. Take some green paper, cut out a wreath and then my little red heart I'm going to cut out of some red glitter paper. All those pieces just came out beautifully. Look at that. So there's your wreath. Now my flower, I made, I have two parts for my flower. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut another one. And then my little heart, and it's tiny. So I'm gonna set that there. Maybe you can see it a little bit because it's just really small. Well, we can't forget our really pretty glittered roof. So I'm gonna cut that out. You're actually gonna need to cut that out three times. I'm going to go ahead and cut you one, and I've got two already cut out over here, so. And there's your roof piece. Now remember to cut three of these out. Okay, so now that we have all our pieces cut, we're ready for assembly. Um, as you remember, I had cut out the house, two, two fronts of the houses, and then the two sides. And to save some time, I've gone ahead and put the red adhesive tape already on my houses, and I'm just going to peel that back. 
And I'm just going to peel back the sides first. We're going to need the bottoms in a little bit, but it's just too much to manipulate this and to have a sticky bottom. So, And then here's the sides. You're going to put the folded side of the house at the top and at the bottom, and it's going to look like this. And it's kind of a rounded thing, so once you get it lined up, just give it a firm smoothing over, and then you're going to do the same to the other side. If you don't get it right, you can kind of come back and play with it a little bit, but it should look like that. So there you've got the two, and then we're going to put it on the back side. And then close up our house. And it's easy as that, pretty simple. And then we'll fold down the roof. There's all score lines on this die, so there just takes no guesswork out of how it gets assembled. And then it's time to put on our roof. And I love this sugar paper. I just think it looks like snow and it's so glitzy and it's ready for Christmas. So went ahead, put my red tape on that because I want to adhere the top of the roof together. Now, once you do that, don't forget, if this is going to be an ornament, that you insert your little piece of pink twine. I think this is by Doodlebug. Put that on there. And then we're going to just line up those two ribs like that. So now I'm going to go ahead and put some red tape on here, and we're going to insert our roof. It goes like that. Super easy. and you've got your roof on your house. Now it's time to put those little fun embellishments on the front. Now you saw I cut out the window, and you can put the window in a number of places, and actually you could actually cut out the window out of the house if you wanted to by laying that die, let me show you the die, directly on top of this piece when you were cutting it, and you could actually have a, a window cut out of the house. But for me, I'm just gonna place this on top. I've already got sticky on the back of my paper here. And then we're going to put our door. I'm going to go ahead and put a little picket fence. I just want it on the side of my house. There's my little house. It's almost assembled now. And I love this little tiny red heart. I cut it out of the glitter paper and I put a little pop dot on it. And I like to put that in the center of my house. And then lastly, let's put on, got some really pretty little ribbon. We're going to put some ribbon on top of the house. And I've got some cute doodlebug twine, and we're going to put that there. And then we have these really pretty little flowers that we cut out, remember? Well, I'm just going to assemble these two together, and you can flip them over. The nice part about the doodlebug paper is that it is double-sided, so if you want, you could Use one on the bottom and then use the other on the top. And I've gone ahead and I've pre-made this because I wanted to use the Nouveau Drops. And if you've never used them, they're a lot of fun. So I used the Nouveau Drops for the center of my flower. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to the center of my house. And then lastly, although I love the wreath, it's obviously too big, I like to trim off just little parts and pieces. And, you know, just stick it here and there, see where I'd look good. And I'm going to put this right behind my flower just to give it a little green touch. And there I have my little house. Isn't that the cutest? Now, last part. The roof also doubles as the base of your house. So we're going to go ahead and put that on here. Now, what I did is I like to go ahead, I've got a lot of glue strings, um, I like to go ahead and put this red tape on there so that I can get it centered onto this piece of paper. And then I go back in with the hot glue gun and I go ahead and adhere it firmly down. So um, like I said, the, any kind of glittery paper um, has a hard time taking the adhesion, but with a hot glue, it doesn't usually get to say a whole lot. So He's all done. Now you can take him, which is what I did originally, and I took and I put him in a really cute little jar. So that's quick and easy. It's something new for your uh, holiday season. 
Thank you so much for joining me today. We would love to see some of your projects. If you want to show them up on our gallery at scrapbook.com, that would be awesome and amazing. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more from scrapbook.com, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. Happy crafting!